Hello friends, in this video I will discuss the viva questions based on the Kirchhoff's current law and voltage law known as KCL and KVL. So what are KCL and KVL? A German physicist Robert Kirchhoff gave two important electrical laws in 1847 by which we can easily find the equivalent resistance of a complex network and flowing currents in different conductors. So Kirchhoff's first law is KCL or Kirchhoff's current law and it tells that the current entering a node is equivalent to the current leaving the node. So total current I in should be total current I out and here in the, uh, this node we can see that I1, I2, I3 are going in and I4 and I5 are going out. So I1 plus I2 plus I3 equal to I4 plus I5. The Kirchhoff second law is that is Kirchhoff voltage law which tells that the algebraic sum of all voltages in a loop must equal to 0 and in this loop we can see that if, if we are taking the direction in clockwise then E is positive and V1, V2, V3 is negative. So E minus V1 minus V2 minus V3 should be 0 where V is equivalent to I into R so if we know the resistances and current then we can also find out the voltage. So these are the KCL and KBL. Now I discuss the important viva questions. First question is what is Kirchhoff's current law KCL? It is the algebraic sum of all the currents entering or leaving a node in an electric circuit is equal to 0 or we can say that the sum of currents entering is equal to the sum of current leaving at the node. What is electric current? The flow of electrons is known as electric current. And on what concept the KCL is based? KCL is based on the conservation of charge. So next question is what is difference in AC and DC currents? So it, AC stands for the alternating current while DC stands for direct current and in direct current the electron flow in a single direction while electrons keep switching directions in forward and backward direction in case of the alternating current and it is shown in case of the DC it is constant voltage whereas in case of the alternating current it is bearing like sine wave. So R these laws applicable to OC networks? Yes, both the KCL and KVL, these are applicable to DC as well as for the AC networks at low frequencies. Next question is what is limitation of KCL? It is applicable to the circuits where electric charge is constant. What is nodal analysis? Nodal analysis is a method for determining the branch currents in a circuit using the Kirchhoff current law or KCL. Differentiate between a branch and a node of a circuit. So pair of network which connects the various points of network is known as branch whereas a point at which two or more elements are joined together is called a node. Next question is what is Kirchhoff's voltage law KVL? It is the algebraic sum of all voltages in a loop must equal to 0. On what concept the KVL is based? KVL is based on the conservation of energy because voltage is measurement of energy per unit charge. Differentiate between a mess and a loop of a circuit. So a mesh is a loop that does not contain any other loops whereas all meshes are loops but all loops are not meshes. Here in this figure we can see uh, we have this one, one mesh is there. This is another mesh and this bigger one is one loop. So um, all loops are not meshes and all meshes are loops because this mess we don't have another loop inside this so it is mess it is mess and it is a loop 
what is resistance and what is register resistance is a property of a substance which opposes the flow of electrons and it is denoted by capital r resistance and its units is ohm and a resistor is a device designed to produce the resistance what is ohm's law ohm's law tells that the voltage across a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it provided all the physical conditions and temperature remains constant then this law is valid and v is directly proportional to i so v voltage and current it so it should be straight line uh, or v equal to i into r where r is resistance what are limitations of ohm's law ohm's law is applicable to conductors only it cannot be applicable to semiconductors and insulators on which factor the resistance of a conductor depends the resistance of a conductor is directly proportional to length and inversely proportional to the cross sectional area a it depends on temperature and also it depends on the nature or type of the material now what next question is what is multimeter you have used this kind of device for measurement of voltage and current and resistance also so a multimeter is a single device that can measure a variety of electrical quantities such as electric current voltage and resistance over several range of values why ammeter is connected in series and voltmeter in parallel an ammeter will be always connected in series at as it has a low resistance and voltmeter is connected in parallel because it will be having a high resistance and if you connect a ammeter in parallel then most of the current will go through the ammeter not with the components so the, this will give us the wrong re results what are limitations of kirchhoff's current and voltage laws kbl and kcl are not valid at high frequencies and they cannot be applied if there is a fluctuating magnetic field in the circuit because fluctuating magnetic field will affect the currents now here is one question in this loop find the voltage is v in the circuit this is 3 volt this is 7 volt we have to find this v and if we take the loop in clockwise direction then we take this minus 3 minus v plus 7 it is zero so b equal to 4 volt plus 4 volt similarly one another loop is there e1 a negative to positive this b negative to positive so e1 plus b1 and this is plus to minus so b2 is negative and similarly plus to negative it is minus e2 so e1 plus b1 minus b2 minus e2 equal to zero or e1 plus b1 equal to b2 plus e2 so this is the kirchhoff's voltage law can be applied in this loop why you have used the breadboard in the experiment a breadboard is used to make up temporary circuits for testing and no soldering is required so it is easy to change the connection and replace the components and the parts or the components are not damaged and they can be reused after the experiment and this is a typical breadboard where the top and bottom rows are they are linked horizontally the connections are horizontal and the power supply is connected to these horizontal rows positive terminal here and negative here and the other holes they are connected vertically in block of five these blue lines they are uh, linked vertically and we can put the connections using uh, these uh, holes and in case of kirchhoff's current law and voltage law we can put some resistors 
and then we can measure the voltages and current using multimeters. So that's why we have used the breadboard for this experiment. What are the application of KBL and KCL? They can be used to analyze any electrical circuit in computation of current and voltage of complex circuits. And they are also used in Wheatstone bridge to get the balancing condition and to know the direction of current in different loops of circuits. Kirchhoff's law are useful in understanding the transfer of energy through an electric circuit. Thanks for watching the video and please subscribe to this channel if you are new and share it with other students also and your queries and suggestions are welcome. Our previous video was based on the CRO and we will discuss some another experiment in our next video. Thanks again.